Hello everyone, once again welcome to Real Device Configuration Series. Guys, today we will perform this task, task number 2. First of all, let me tell you, in last video, in task 1, by mistake I said that switch 1 and switch 2 is connected through port 0 slash 20. But as we discuss in rack topology, switch 1 and switch 2 is connected through 21 and 22, 0 slash 21 and 0 slash 22. So, okay, let me move on this task. So, here you can see my first task is configure all inter switch links on switch 2, switch 3, and switch 4 to be in dynamic or to a state. So, this is task of DTP, dynamic trunking protocol, right? DTP. So, on switch 2, switch 3, and switch 4, all interface will be in dynamic auto state and configure. See the task number two. Configure all inter switch links on switch one to be in dynamic desirable state. Okay, so task is this one, guys. Let me draw logical topology. So this is my switch one, switch two, switch three, and switch four. Switch four. Switch one and switch two is connected through zero slash. 21 and 0 slash 22 switch 1 and switch 3 is connected through 0 slash 19 and 0 slash 20 in the same way switch 2 and switch 4 is also connected through 0 slash 19 and 0 slash 20 and switch 3 and switch 4 is connected through again 0 slash 21 and 0 slash 22 and switch 1 and switch 4 is connected through 0 slash 23 and 0 slash 24 in the same way switch 3 and switch 2 is connected through 0 slash 23 and 0 slash 24 right so here you can see on switch 2 all links all inter switch links on switch 2 switch 3 and switch 4 to be in dynamic auto mode so here this interface will be in dynamic auto state da dynamic auto in the same way on r4 also this interface will be in dynamic auto state and this interface will be in dynamic auto state so you will configure dynamic auto state on this interface right of switch 2 switch 3 and switch 4 and switch 1 interface will be in dynamic desirable state so here we will configure dynamic desirable right so trunking will be formed between switch 1 and switch 3 in the same way trunking will be formed between let me change the color of pin here trunking will form here also trunking will form and here also trunking will form but between switch 3 and switch 4 or you can say between switch 3 and switch 2 trunking will not form here also trunking will not negotiate here also trunking will not negotiate right because both side dtp state is dynamic auto so desirable can initiate only right we have discussed this thing in theory part fine okay let me do configuration right so first of all let me take access of these four switches and then i will run no shutdown command on all interface first then i will up 0 slash 19 to 24 0 slash 90 20 21 22 23 and 24 on every switch i will up this interface 0 slash 19 to 0 slash 24 fine so let me take access of my device guys okay so as you can see over here i have access of all devices all switch let me change host name of switch one and let me down all interface interface range fast ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 1 to 24 say shut down and now you can check so ip interface brief so ip interface brief okay so you can see all interfaces administratively down now let me do same thing on switch 2 also host name switch 2 and interface range f1 slash 0 slash 1 to 24 and say no set 
sorry set now let me do same thing on switch 3 as well no after that enable global configure and interface range fast ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 1 to 24 and say no say shut down exit host name is switch 3 now let me do configure switch 4 host name is switch 4 interface range fast ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 1 2 sorry here interface is starting from 0 slash 1 ok so shut down and you can run show cdp command to check directly connected neighbor right so there will be how many neighbor 0 now you will need to up 0 slash 90 to 20 19 to 24 and say let me do same thing on switch 2 as well interface range f 1 slash 0 slash 19 to 24 say no set okay let me do same thing on r3 as on switch 3 as well so cdp neighbor it will take some time after that you can see okay i will check after some time let me do same thing on switch 3 first interface range fast ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 90 to 24 say shut down and let me do same thing on this switch as well switch 4 interface range fast ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 24 say no set now you can check cdp neighbor on switch 1 so cdp neighbor you can see switch 2 is connected through 2 link and switch 3 is also connected through 2 link fine let me check cdp neighbor again why there is no switch 4 switch 2 switch 3 guys just wait let me do troubleshoot So here you can see VTP domain name, DTP domain name mismatch. Let me check configuration of this switch first. So VTP status. So there are some configuration. You can see VTP mode is transparent, right? That means there is some configuration. Let me delete. Uh, flash vlan dot that file first i think there is some vlan as well let me check yes you can see there is some vlan so let me set default configuration on this switch delete flash vlan dot that file okay now village startup configuration and then we need to reload this switch no it will take some time to reload okay let me configure switch one we will do configuration on switch four later okay so now you can see neighbor is switch four okay switch four will remove from cdp neighbor after few second switch 4 is re reloading now okay so this is switch 1 switch port mode dynamic desirable so here we will configure dynamic desirable on switch 1 fine now go to switch 2 and interface range fast ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 90 to 19 to 24 mm, let me correct it 24 and switch port mode dynamic auto mm, 
let me do same thing on switch 3 as well switch port mode dynamic desirable sorry auto mode dynamic auto fine this is switch one now you can verify so interface trunk you can see guys 0 slash 19 0 slash 20 0 slash 21 22 trunking between switch 3 is fine with switch 2 is uh, with switch 3 and switch 4 with switch 4 let me check switch 4 configuration guys just wait here you can see mode is dynamic auto on switch 2 right okay so all interface all ports of switch 1 is in dynamic auto mode in dynamic desirable mode sorry and all other switch ports are in dynamic auto mode you can see this is on switch one interface mode is dynamic desirable and encapsulation encapsulation protocol which we are using is isl fine you can change it as well you can configure dot one q interface range fast ethernet this one switch port mode trunk encapsulation dot one q right this is the command to change encapsulation protocol trunking encapsulation protocol for tagging okay now let me do same thing on switch 2 as well let me configure dot 1q nowadays we are not using ISL this is Cisco device so by default ISL is enabled let me do same thing on switch 3 as well dynamic desirable not dynamic desirable dynamic auto this one is dynamic auto right now on switch 4 on switch 4 interface range 0 slash 1 slash sorry not 1 0 slash 19 to 24 switch port trunk encapsulation dot 1q okay and switch port mode dynamic auto fine configuration of switch 4 is done so interface trunk and you can see as we discuss in rack topology video 0 slash 23 is connected to switch 1 of switch 4 right and 24 is connected to switch 1 and rest port like uh, switch 2 and with switch 3 with switch 2 this this switch is connected through 90 at 20 and with switch 3 it's connected through 21 and 22 now let me do same thing on switch 2 let me verify it go to switch 1 so I so interface trunk trunk so here you can see so switch 2 is connected through which port 0 slash 21 and 0 slash 22 so both both so between both switch there are trunking you can see mode is auto and status is trunking right so this is verification this is my third task 
so interface trunk on switch 3 you can see switch 3 is connected through 90 and 20 to switch 1 19 and 20 to switch 1 so you can see mode is auto and status is trunking fine and this is switch 4 fine so switch 4 is connected to switch 1 through these two interface 0 slash 23 and 0 slash 24 so hope now react topology is clear to you right how devices are connected there switch 1 switch 2 router 1 router 2 all router are connected through only with only two switch switch 1 and switch 2 with 0 slash 0 to switch 1 and uh, interface 0 slash 1 to switch 2 we are we, we are using only two interface of router in rack or if you will run this command so interface fast ethernet 0 slash 21 switch port here you can see the di uh, administrative mode is dynamic desirable and protocol is dot 1q right so interface trunk on switch 1 you can see all six interface is our trunk port all six interface are trunk port which is connected to switch 2 switch 3 and switch 4 okay hope it's clear to you now so guys these are basic topology right now we are learning how to design logical topology from physical topology then we will perform some advanced lab on rack as well right that's why i am making this video only for one reason to make you familiar with rack right then only i can perform practical on rack so so interface trunk if you will run this command on switch 2 you can see port which is connected to switch 1 is trunk port and all other are access port right on switch 3 as well so interface trunk so you can see 19 and 20 is trunk okay now let me move to switch 4 so ip so interface trunk so here also you can see switch 4 is connected to switch 1 through 0 slash 23 and 0 slash 24 a break up ko clear ho gaya hoga pura hai na chaliye ye apna switch 4 ho gaya switch 1 apna practical ho gaya hai lagbhag mein so guys that's all for today we will meet soon in next video right or in the same way you will also perform this type of task on real device right and connection will be same every time in every institute in every company even in cci lab exam right in rack topology will be same topology will be same physical topology will be same always with the help of this physical topology you can design any logical topology right you should remember the port interface which is connected to which interface is connected to which switch right so switch 1 and switch 2 is connected to 21 and 22 switch 1 and switch 3 is connected to 0 slash 19 in the same way switch 3 and switch 4 is connected to 21 and 22 and switch 2 and switch 4 is connected to 90 and 20 and between switch 1 and switch 3 and switch 2 and su switch 4 we are using 0 slash 23 and 0 slash 24 link okay so that's all for today guys bye bye thanks for watching if you like this video please hit on like button if you want to subscribe this channel you can okay <laughs> bye bye